Welcome to Grit and Gravitas with Anne and Annie, bringing you savvy, spirited stories of success. We're excited to deliver 30 minutes of inspiration, impact, and goodness. We'll be bringing you guests and friends from around the country who have very special work and personal journeys. I'm Anne Dieter Gallagher, your co-host with Annie Carnathan, and this is Grit and Gravitas. Let's go. Oh, Grit and Gravitas, Annie Carnarthan. I always say it's the best part of my day. I know you say that too, but it truly is. It's so good to see you in person. Our show today is gonna going to get personal. Uh-oh. And uh, Can I just tell everybody to interrupt how the smile on your face when our producer said we're <laughs> recording. There is there is no bigger wattage smile. So if we didn't capture that whenever the video happens i just wish everyone could see how full our hearts are when we're doing oh this. you're sweet it's just well well I'm- this is a week to have full hearts we're recording in easter week uh leading up to easter sunday he is risen so uh he is risen indeed and it's exciting to be here with you so we're switching it up a little bit turning a little more personal which we're all about not oh, too, of not course. too personal but transparency is um, good you have had an injury, and yes. this is really your first time out. And thank you for making the effort to come to the studio. In you know, uh, so on YouTube they'll see that your leg truly is you can't up. judge a book by its cover <laughs> because I think I look a little better than I feel. But hey, yeah. this is it's all you know, it's it's all part of it. And so this is going to be a little bit of a setback comeback for sure. story for you. And how you, so you have a knee injury and I'm going to let you uh, explain the full scope of that, but um, it has brought you to a full stop on, on several occasions. So work related, family related, dog walking related, um, and maybe a little mental health related because I know walking outdoors is uh, a therapy for you. So Annie, tell us what happened. Um, so freak thing, I'm out on, you know, on my property after the 18 hours of rain and I'm, uh, sort of in the wooded area, just cleaning it up and put something along my trail, our trail to pick up then when all of it's out there to discard and put my right foot on the trail. It's entirely mud and slips out from uh, under me. Like it's a sheet of ice. So, um, I thought I just cyber extended it. It turns out I fractured, uh, um, the tibial plateau. And so that's where everything connects, you know, bottom right yep. mobility. Uh, and so there's a divot there. And so the question mm. becomes surgery, surgery, where they have to go back in and, and bones, yeah. you know, to lift that back up, plates and screws. Mm, that's not my idea of a good time. So uh, right on the cusp of surgery, uh, just shout out to UPMC Ortho, phenomenal. Good. In um, emergency Sunday and then follow up um, Tuesday. So long story short <clears throat> is I've never had a major injury like this. And <coughs> the first thing Excuse I always me. think is it could be so much worse. Right. Um, and honestly, look, it's an answered prayer. I needed to slow down. I didn't know how We're to do talk that. about that a little bit. <laughs> the, the grind of that. And so when we had to pivot today... Um, for just some, some, some guest things, this is the moment. And we were supposed to do that. And I do embrace that. So I said, we're going to do one word today and it's, and it's serendipity Mm -hmm. and it goes precisely to how we have the choice about how we're going to look at things. Yeah. So serendipity, the occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. Is this a happy event? Mm. Is it beneficial unequivocally? Well, to your perception, yes. How how you're processing your knee injury and what, for someone who goes 100 miles an hour and is used to controlling situations as am I, it has really, you know, just forced you to sit and be still and heal. And I know that's been a struggle. It would be a struggle for me and many other, you know, leaders as well. But um, so understanding serendipity and you're, you are processing this in a very optimistic 
beneficial way. You know, are you glad it happened? I'm sure no. Uh, are you going to uh, make the best of the situation and maybe even look for opportunities in here that you wouldn't have found before or had time to see before? So what was your biggest struggle? Was it just being still? <clears throat> Just the mobility yeah. of having to primarily ask my husband for for literally everything. Right. And the ability to just absolutely sit and and try to give myself the care to avoid this major surgery. Right. And I'm sitting there, you know, with the ortho saying, hmm. I, we have to give my body a chance at this. Yeah. Good. If I'm on the cusp, <clears throat> I know which side I'm going to end up right. on. And so you look at the physicality of that. You look at um, activity and the lack of arthritis. And you look at just so many other things could could have been worse. Right. And when, when I say to someone, what a blessing, because you've always said to me, be where your feet are. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> and it's, it, it is. It's so reflective. And it's so soul-searching. Yeah. And I did not appreciate as much of the success as I did because there's always a conflict mm-hmm. right over the horizon. There's always another mountain to climb. There's always another challenge. There's always someone that, that needs me. Yeah. No one needs me more in this situation than, than I need myself. Well, it's given you a chance to prioritize yourself. And sometimes we have to do that. You know, you're always so busy. And maybe that's the second business item. The first was you have to embrace being still. You have to embrace healing because if you don't now, you are going to, you know, experience surgery. And that's probably three times as long of a healing process. But listening to your body, listening to the professionals, you got to sit still. And I know you don't want to. Um and the second is just, you know, looking for the positivity in that. What what could you learn from that situation? And I said to you yesterday, he's like, how, how are you not walking, being I know outside? You. Yeah, That's I know precisely you, right. you do. And right. I said, do you know what, Ann? I have literally no impact over that. Yeah. And I could I could change out the short term for, for whatever yeah. reason, and it ends up in major knee surgery yep. rehab. And is it ever really going to be the same yeah. with plates and screws yeah. in your knee? No. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I'll tell you. Mm. <laughs> so it's, it's a singular focus. Yeah. And then it's not Good. different than any other fight. And, you know, my challenge is with remote, right? It, it sort of pushed me into, well, it might not always be the worst thing. Exactly. Because, that work and what I do, I thrive in it. Yeah. You know, I'm proud of it. Um, and <laughs> it's, it's not the worst thing. And I, yeah. I, I know it isn't, but I do think I have just a better perspective because today I, I think about last night, I think that's, it's a, it's a mountain to do this today. It is a mountain just oh, getting ready. Right. No. And, and so, well, my point right. to you is I, I, I have an obligation to myself first. I have an obligation to you secondly. I have an obligation to our guests. And look, that's the motivation. It isn't sort of pick and choose. It's like, what what are you doing right. to balance that good news? Right. When I get it, and I have no doubt whatsoever I will get what I the news I want to hear yeah. because that's my only yeah, focus. focus. And so when you look at that, and I, and I said to you th- this morning, I said, you have to train optimism. Yeah, you do. You it's train anything else, it's right? People go into training. People are training for a new job. People are training for a math. That, like, you have to train optimism. Yeah. I'm not to sit here and say it hasn't been. This is been vitamin three. Yes, train optimism. Where I just Don't sit and I go. Don't wait for it to oh. occur. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but then I think, oh my gosh, and I just start listing off to people how this could have been catastrophically worse. And so, hmm. so what are the challenges professionally? So one is that you're not a remote lover and has probably caused you to think maybe differently about that or understand your employees who desire that option, uh, in a different light. Um, 
I had mentioned earlier when I uh, broke my foot and was in a cast, it really forced me to see, you know, even going into a store, if you're in crutches, what doors open automatically and so appreciate that. You don't, you don't even think about that for anyone with a disability, you know, entering, exiting the handicapped parking things. Uh, all of a sudden you're forced to see, you know, walk in someone else's shoes. You're forced to be needy. Yeah. I've ever yeah. been good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an advocate for everyone. I right. do try to help everyone, but man, try to help me. Mm, I got that. I got that. Right. And so I think when I, when I look out, the, the biggest thing is, and I understand this, is, is more time. You, you're not getting ready head to toe. Right. You're not getting in your car. You're not driving. We're going right 30 to work. Minutes. Yeah, you could, you could. And so what happened, I would just say to somebody, how are you doing? How's this going today? This major software yeah. migration. Every people, different points along the way. How are we doing? How are we doing? I mean, and I think the time, not just to talk to them, but to consider it, yeah. to ask them, right? Because Good. what you do with, with the pace and the grind that I've had for more years than I can remember is just race to what's next. Well, has it opened opportunities for you to see things that you missed before? 100%. A hundred percent. Or maybe, like you just said, slow down and talk to people and connect with people where you just assumed, you know, here's a deadline for the software transition. And and now you're taking time to go deeper and just say, talk, you know, just popping in to check on you. And how about just an appreciation for what we've done, you know, and where we've been? We're going to um, transition the presidency in May. Right. Uh, massive. Mm-hmm. So I got, I had, I had like, uh, you, you, we were talking yesterday and it was like this mini list for you. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I talked to her about three things like all at once. And, <laughs> you know, and so it wasn't, it, it's just a different perspective. It's good. And it's when good I to say to that. the Lord, help me understand how I enjoy this more, help me understand how to, just, to learn from it. Yeah. Be less it, precisely. And look, I know what I don't know, which is, an enormous amount. And so I pray and I, I have people try to help me to to do things I'm not right. able to do or good at doing because I'm vulnerable. I, I, I just, how how can I just enjoy this more? So people say, don't let that bother you. Well, mm, that's not really going to help me understand how to do that. And then you sit there and you think, hmm, I have to help myself Yeah, understand. And you sometimes have to look at the tough things, right? that means changing your perspective and, you know, being willing to look at it for the opportunities in there. And so far, nothing's fallen out of bed. Yeah. Now, I have to go into the office today because, you know, I did if, yell at you. You need crutches. So, I don't know why you don't have your crutches. You know, because I stank at them. Well, I'm just going to say. You need them. First time I felt <laughs> back, I felt back literally straight back. Ah! Three times because all of a sudden, like I got a leg up, I got a crutch up, and I felt like my arms were breaking off. So note to self, I better do some upper body yeah. strength work. Patty Seibach here says so she's going to go, yes, you do. Um, so I think that the enormity of just a different lens, but then, and it, it's not just the benefits, but it's what you really miss that you maybe take for right. granted in right. your life. So I miss the YWCA Yes, women we of you. excellence. We we At, you. Oh, thank you, because I was like, oh, and then I see that the pictures, been a long walk. and that would have been. I, a long I, could, walk. I couldn't yeah. have. I yeah. could. I, I mean, at that point too, there's just no stability, and I just, yeah. If if I would even do that, I would just crumple, right? So I think that was like how much I cherish that myself in that yeah. tribe last year, but then all the women there yeah, that you want to support as, as yeah. far as we've come. Right. And so I think that it's just this, for me, it's, it's a better confession. Yeah. It's a deeper reflection. And I think about this and, and there hasn't been any f- physical limitations or setbacks. So it's been different. Yeah. It's not the same menu Mm -hmm. or comfortability to fight and to overcome it and to change it from what it is to the other side and and what you want that 
positive outcome to be. So for leaders, what insights would you share to help another CEO uh, deal with this? So have you, uh, how did you deal with the employees? Were you fully transparent? You said, hey, I'm, I'm out of commission, but I'm accessible. I'm working from home. Um, what are some of your insights for other leaders? Because some are, are pretty private and want to keep it that way. And you know me, I mean, I overly communicate. <laughs> because I don't think anything can't be solved if people want to solve it. Mm-hmm. But everyone has a different lens. Everyone brings that lens to whatever situation is happening. And that's the influence they're exerting against yeah. it. And as, as a fully transparent, um, on our biggest, uh, we have a, an agency wide status meeting Monday mornings to sort of wake up and get the agency up and launching, uh, for the week. And, and I was like, at the end, I just listen to account reviews. I just absorb all of Good. it Good. just to learn. And then I'll follow up with questions. I want to know more about this, but, um, you know, at the end, I, I say to the woman running it, I'm like, oh, hey, I have just a couple things. And um, here's, here's Is this what, on the call? Are you saying this is you on say the call? Okay. Um, and look, they can see I'm not at work, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. So I said, oh, hey, uh, just full transparency here. I had a little, um, I had an accident. Um, it's, it's a serious one. I mean, I fractured my knee. And so here's the look forward. Here are the next Good. steps. Here's what my goal is, and unequivocally, this too shall pass. There, I, I virtually don't have any pain. I don't have any yeah, pain. Good. Right? It painful when it happened. Oh my! Like that was rough, right. but so I'm good. I'm all right. It's just that's what happened, and um, then you won't be in. Did you give a time that you won't be in for so six weeks? <laughs> I or? told them I won't be in last week or this week, and I'm going in today, right? So. Um, but, but it's necessary yeah. and I'm able to, if I'm able to do this, I'm able to do that. Right. So there again, the sacrifice, responsibility, the yeah. obligation. Right. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. And so then uh, I think there was an update later and, you know, I go back April 1st, I know April 1st for, for more x-rays to sort of say, I think you're good. I think we're on your path. And it might, it might not, you might say, oh, I, you know, we're just, we're going to really need right. to, to do this surgery, but it's a major surgery. And so ultimately if there's a little arthritis, cause it's not lined up exactly, it might be worth treating that versus. I, I think sometimes when these situations happen, and I don't mean specifically you, but it's a good reminder that business goes on and life goes on. And we work so hard and think we're such an important cog in that wheel that and sometimes we see like if we've done our job really good the people around us can carry on and that's isn't that one of the um highlights of good leadership is brava and Dieter gallagher <laughs> that is precisely what happened and i have absolutely nothing but glory to them good good for it now but that speaks to you they're not, they're not doing that or properly equipped if you didn't train people, give professional development, give good leadership and modeling. That doesn't happen on its own in a vacuum. So our very role is that we should be working ourselves out of a job that we would be able to have succession planning, good people, very capable. If the people, you know, in the next layer down <clears throat> aren't able to pick up some of your responsibilities or slack or sit in your stead in a CEO meeting, you know, or a client meeting, then there's a gap there. There's a problem there. We can't hold all that knowledge in our own heads. So maybe that's one of the business insights as well. You've got, it's a constant reminder, uh, that we can't be on an Island ourselves. That's not great leadership. If you're leading people. I mean, ultimately that's the most selfish thing yeah. you could do. I want nothing more than to, than than for for Universal Media to to thrive, to succeed, yeah, to yeah. succeed for these people who might, I mean, and give them a runway or opportunity and, to do and that. So, and I I said to my to my senior leadership group, like, look, this could have been demonstrably worse. Yeah, that's why they're called accidents. So I haven't not been present. 
I haven't been like, you're going to have to do that without me, but, but it better magnifies and defines what my lane is right. and what my well, role is. And oh, by the way, tremendous comfort in knowing they had what I don't have to anymore. Well, and that has to help in your healing. You know, healing is, is a large uh, mental game as well. So when you're constantly preoccupied or in a high stress uh, situation, not only from your injury, but then thinking, you know, how am I ever going to uh, be as integral if you're, you know, healing at home, that has to relieve some of your stress and just make you uh, sit still a little longer, make you a little stronger, knowing that you've done the good work that you've done. I said, I said to my husband, I said, I want to be able to sleep this well. <laughs> when I'm <laughs> fully, well. fully recovered, he goes, you Amen. don't sleep well, right? And I said, but my body, I'm telling you, Ian, by seven or eight at night, I've never done so little and been so physically exhausted for how my body is fighting, yeah, yeah. fighting, fighting, right? And that's what I do. And, that's I, and I mean... I, I make it into bed like I cross the finish line and I, whoop, I, I wait, I, I'm like, this is great. It's so nourishing and well, refreshing yeah, and the my body, body going, that. hey girl, that. right? I mean, yes. And see, you're not listening. None of us are when we're at warp speed. <laughs> listening to those uh signs and Peaceful. symptoms we could do a whole episode on sleep because that is oh. the great healer as well and we think we have to and you know there's a whole is it on instagram or tiktok you know the 5 a.m people getting up and and there might be a season in your life where that looks you know attractive but for the most part when you're in high stress situations like going to bed at midnight and waking up at five to do an hour workout or further stress isn't really a great recipe for whole health. And imagine not and and imagine knowing that. And knowing it and knowing it and knowing it and not fully impacting yeah. a way to get to a more peaceful place. Yeah. And that's it. And I'm like, Lord, help me get to that peaceful place because I'm gonna be better for everyone. Well, you've learned some good lessons. Tremendous. And I and and here's the thing, I embraced it. Yeah. And and I get look, for the second time I get more time with my dogs because oh, they're gone. That was my first thought I, to Pamela. I'm like, who who's walking her dogs cuz she's that is your ritual in the morning. I know it's your mental health walk it's your get outside and enjoy so now they're quote unquote walked on the four-wheeler and if i can tell you three dogs where that's <laughs> their addiction does that count I, I told i told i told my husband I'm, by the time i walk again they're just going to stand at the four-wheeler go where are you going <laughs> we're, we're waiting for the and it, it's a ball well you found a workaround oh my gosh so you and still get outside and it's so fun i don't I mean, we won't really have neighbors but uh i think they curse me every morning they're like again and this morning was really early it was still dark you know, and I'm a headlights out there. And, uh, but I think how precious is this to get, you know, more time with my girls. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. they're just gone so soon. Uh, and so, uh, it, it, but, but for the reasons I remember and dislike all the chaos of a home is still going on. Yeah. <laughs> you did say before we came into the <laughs> studio, like you're taking meetings with important clients and, and the house is, being the house. And goes, my remote keyboard doesn't work. So somebody's coming by to get a flashlight. He can put that in and it's the worst call in the world. And the mulchers are coming and this is coming and <laughs> that's coming. Deliveries are happening because I can't go pick anything yes, up, right? Yes. At the UPS store. And so it's comical, right? But I have to tell you, it's, I thank the Lord every day, period. I'm so grateful. But to, to, to thank him for an answered prayer that I know precisely that's what it was. There's no question in my mind. Did no. I think it'd be answered like that? Mm -mm. Check every box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's what I was praying for. Yeah. And however that journey goes to get there, and you and I talk about this all the time, you don't see the difficult things. Right. You don't see the nose. I ingest more nose and normalize more nose than... You're very good at that. I could learn some lessons. I'm, you know, I don't love that. But you're, you're able to... Uh... You have a tough outer shell. 
Well, I just soldier on if, yeah. if in fact I, you know, when that helps to, to apply a good stubborn characteristic, right. because I do believe that what I'm ultimately going to get to is going to help yeah. whomever I'm talking to. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's their prerogative to disagree. I mean, it never gets ever gets contentious. It never oh, gets right. Right. Because I have no control over any of that. I'm mm-hmm. not a micromanager. Yeah. I try to impact what I can control in the ways that still produce what I think is the best result. And ultimately someone say, you know, no, it isn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm calling on someone for nine years. And they told me a story. They they said, they said, well, they said uh, a rep came in the other day and said, we got to be the longest tenured sales rep to to be calling on you without getting the business. And and he looked at it and he said, you're not even close. (laughs) He said, try nine years. And guy goes, that can't be. Guy goes, nine years. So, wow. Right. But still a dialogue, still a conversation. It's all timing. And so I'm undaunted by that. And so I think it, 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 no one's going to sit here and go, thank goodness this happened. I don't, I, I, no. It, it, look, you'd have to think I drink Kool Aid, right? Spike this morning. But I do think for all the reasons it's been enormously meaningful, I have embraced that. You've learned lessons. Yeah. And it, every leader can. And you're right. Like, put your finger in a glass of water, pull it out. That's how much you're going to be missed. Because <laughs> what does it do? You pull <laughs> your water. You, you, you pull sobering. your finger out, and it finds its water yeah. line again. And 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 life goes on. So no, I'm just that, that checks the ego. Thrilled to Keeps be here. Check. Yeah, yeah. There's someone smarter than me. There's someone you know, more experienced than me. I just, you know, I try to um, be a servant leader yeah. and, and I try to be everyone's advocate. And sometimes that doesn't happen, but... Well, now hopefully all of that is returned in spades to you as you sit and heal and... Set back, come back, give, right? Yep. Give yourself the space to do that. So a lot of insights. Uh, Annie Carnathan, thanks for sharing those. One, one last thing, right? That our our listeners and our fans and our tribe need to understand there's never no setbacks oh correct they're always going to happen they're always going to to be in our path um remember what happened to icarus so the bottom line is this is this but you would never know that if we didn't sit here and talk about it for half an hour which is the vulnerable part like hey and don't feel sorry for me it's it's all good just got to get out the other side so thank you how about the Lord with the timing of this, right? Yeah, amen to that. So. Thanks for making the trek in. I mean, I know that was a physical challenge, um, you know, a schedule challenge. And we've had our setbacks and comebacks even uh, this morning. But yes. there, we're making lemonade. So, Lemonades uh, out of lemons. <laughs> and uh, and a, a privilege and an honor. And I mean that sincerely. No, a lot, lot to learn. And I consider... All of our episodes, like many executive leadership lessons. So for young people who might be thinking about starting a business, run through our past 73 episodes and you're going to find some star power in there. You're going to find business vitamins to really uh, shorten your learning curve. You know, for women in business, for young men in business, um, if you have questions on finance, we, we cover so many topics and um pretty real and authentic yep. topics follow us on instagram grit and gravitas podcast uh go to our website grit and gravitas podcast.com uh and follow annie carnathan and Anne dieter gallagher you're the best so, no <laughs> cheers to a high gear healthy week amen and happy easter everyone amen thanks for listening It's our desire that these stories will bring energy, ideas, and fresh thinking that you can use today. Subscribe to our podcast and follow us on Instagram and have a high gear day.